Yeah, Deontay, just talking with Mike Tomlin after the game last night, it seemed like there was some frustration um, just with the wide receivers in the first half, maybe some of the drops. What was going wrong for you guys, and, and what what did you kind of need to get back on the right track? Uh, uh, it was times, you know, like where we would see certain stuff out there that we would see, and, you know, we just felt like certain stuff wasn't going our way at times, you know, but. At the end of the day, we can just do what the coaches tell us to do. I was uh, all that we talk talk uh, amongst each other what, about what we see out there. But like I said, we just like I said, certain things wasn't going our way. Uh, like certain play calls, we we were um certain play calls we just wasn't um getting that we wanted um, to get the offense going. And uh, like I said, we could just only do what we told to do. At the end of the day, Chris Adamski. Yante, just um, you'll, you're entering the final year of your contract here. How much would it mean to you to to get an extension? I assume you would welcome an extension or negotiate an extension. Um, what are your thoughts about? Would you like to get, try to get that done early, or what would what are your kind of thoughts on the extension? Oh, uh, that would, that would be a blessing to get an extension. You know, uh, just all the hard work I've put in. You know, uh, over the over the past three seasons now, uh, but. Like if I get an extension, I'm gonna be excited. I want to be in Pittsburgh, you know, for for the rest of my career. Um, but I'm gonna just see what happens uh, right now. No strapping. Hey Deontay, uh, I feel like for most of the season we talked about overcoming the drops and what you did to kind of fine tune that. What's the next step this off season to just polish off that so that you know you don't have those games where it still does happen once in a while. Keep working. That's really it. Just keep working. Ain't nothing else to it. Just keep working. Nick Farabaugh. Yeah, Deontay. If, if there's a part of your game that that you kind of look at right now and you say, "Man, I need to get better at that." What is it? I mean, you you said you improved on the drops a, a lot. They might have crept back up, but is there another thing in your game that you go, "Man, I I, I got I just gotta get better at that." I want to just pinpoint one thing. I mean, like I say, people going to drop the ball. Uh, I'm not perfect. <laughs> not going to sit there and act like I'm perfect. Uh, I just go out there and play football at the end of the day. You know, it's a lot of emotion going on in the game. Uh, sometimes you drop the ball, big deal. Uh, bounce back from it, make another play. And uh, that's what I did. I was able to get in the end zone uh, and still make a couple plays after the two drops that I had. And um, even when I did drop the ball this year, I was, I've was i shown that I could respond in a positive manner. And uh, that's what I've been doing. So, you know, a lot of people talk about that, but they don't notice the, that's, I feel like that's the main thing they focus on is the drops, but they don't see all the good stuff that I've been doing throughout the whole season. So it's like, why, why do you continue to focus on that when I'm con still obviously continuing to uh, contribute and, put points on the board, uh, have all these catches in the game throughout the season. So it's like, <laughs> it's football at the end of the day. The best of the best going to drop the ball. And I'm only human. <laughs> I'm going to drop the ball again in my throughout my career. So all I can do is just keep working. For prior. Yeah, Deontay, when you, know, you mentioned the play calls and you weren't getting certain play calls, do you feel like the offense evolved enough throughout the course of the season to be effective or were there things that at times you guys maybe got too predictable or what kind of was holding you guys back offensively? Uh, I don't want to get too much into that. I mean, they know, they know what the plays, they know what plays to call at the end of the day that work and what don't work. And uh, like I said, we can only control what we can control. Um, you know, I don't want to just pinpoint little things about the offense. I mean, we, we've shown we can be explosive, but obviously we got to be consistent at time, every time, actually. But, um, and, you know, there's times we get down, uh, we don't move the ball well, we don't get the run game going. Uh, that, that kills the offense, and it brings the energy down, so that makes the defense play harder, and they got to be on the field longer. So um, I feel like at times we was able to do that, and at times we were, wouldn't. Uh, we've shown flash that we can be consistent. But 
you know, we just got to keep doing that throughout the season. And uh, that's all we pretty much did, just uh, show flashes, but we could have been better. But at the end of the day, we still, I feel like we are a great team all around. Jim Colony. And Deontay, I guess you you actually went through this your rookie year now that I think about it when Ben got hurt, but but you've had him the last two years. You're not going to have, what's it going to be like? What's life going to be like, do you think, with a different quarterback other than Ben? Um, it's going to be different. Uh, obviously, I got to, whoever they bring in, um, obviously got to get that that um, connection down right away. You know, it's going to take time, but eventually, you know, that's going to come together. And, you know, uh, you're going to, had it, you're going to see in the games where we got the, the connection down and whatnot, but it's just starting over. And whoever they bring in, we, we're, going, we're going to work. Last two, Noah Strackby. Yeah, Deontay, kind of going off that, what what kind of upside do you see in Mason Rudolph? I see, I see a lot. You know, Mason is a great player, great quarterback. He's smart. You know, playing with him my rookie year, he's shown that he can win, win us games, you know. Uh, in those those tough moments too, he can make plays. He's relaxed, um, and then when at times you on the sideline this year, like he was always on it, you know, telling us what to look for, what coverages they mostly were in, um, just throwing out plays we could uh, beat the certain coverages and whatnot. So he he's a great player, you know. I, I'm I'm sure he's gonna work his uh, tail off to uh, compete for the starting job and uh, pulling for him. And final question, Chris Adamski. Deontay, outside of, of Chase, uh, three of the other top five receivers are free agents. Um, how much different do you think it could look without Juju and James and Ray Ray? Or, or do you think, or would, would, would you want if any of them might come back? Or how much do you guys could be able to look like a lot different quarterback and have a lot of different receivers next year at this time if, if things don't work out in a certain way? Yeah, I mean, I we, we talked about that a lot during the season, um, about this might be our last time being together. You know, we play with each other for a few, a couple of years. You know, just just being able to know each other, bond with each other, knowing how each other plays. Um, just it's gonna be different if they don't come back next year because you know we still got that friendship and just you just used to being around certain people for, for quite a while. You know, but like I said, I wish them boys the best, no matter what. If they're here or they're on a different team, I'm still pull from want nothing but success from regardless and whoever they bring in for quarterback, we're just gonna work and uh try to get it get to the Super Bowl.